Hello, it's Jason Payne for JDP Realty Group, a coal banker, Dan Harper Realtor. Well, today I'm at the beautiful community of Bindsell Farms in Shirts, Texas, very convenient to Randolph Air Force Base. And the house you see behind me is being built by Coventry Homes. And this is gonna be my first new construction follow-up tour of this home. Let's go check it out. This is a wonderful community. We're kind of halfway in between where Randolph Air Force Base is and I-35. The Shirts Cibolo uh, ISD, has a great school system and you're just really convenient to everything just a little bit north of the san antonio area so you're not dealing with a city but you've got so much stuff going on here in these shirts and i say Cibolo because it's kind of our sister town i live in shirts by the way all right let's go check out the inside of this home i don't remember the exact plan of this house but i will get that information and put it in the comments all right, let's head on inside this beautiful home. Now, you're definitely going to have to do your imagination because sheetrock is not up yet. But this is a nice two-story home. I have earlier done a video tour of this same plan that's completed, but this is the actual home that my client is purchasing. So right up front, you're going to see... Uh, your secondary bedrooms with a really nice bay window set up. You can see them starting doing the radiant barrier. This is going to be the closet section. Now the green stuff is kind of a bromine treatment that they do to help uh, repel insects. This is going to be the shared bathroom with the shower put in. And then you come out and, well, this is going to be not a bedroom, but more of a flex room. The reason it's not a bedroom because it didn't have an actual closet. But you can use this for your inner, uh, a separate TV watching room, office, whatever you want to do. Let's call them a flex space. So nice little space for you. Coming into, well, this is going to be part of the closet. But this is the uh, great space where it's a combination of the kitchen area, which is going to have a really nice size kitchen area. You're going to have your built-in space for your refrigerator. Uh, that's going to be your pantry right here. So it's going to have a good size pantry. Looks like you're going to have your, uh, there it is, the oven hookup and then the vent right behind where the range is going to be at. So this can be a chance to be able to see what your what looks like behind your walls before they put all the insulation and sheetrock up. You have a really nice little breakfast nook space. A little view of the rafters. And this is what behind the sink looks like at this stage. And this is going to be kind of the view from behind the sink. Speaking of views, uh, this house does back up to a, a ranch area. So you're, and I just talked to the people at Coventry, they don't have any plans of, as of today, mid-October 2021, of purchasing that. So there's gonna be green space behind you. Um, the property line goes kind of right where you can see the little concrete drainage things. Don't worry, it's not like a flooding hazard. It's just for the community, just so the water has a chance to escape but you do have some underbrush. Um, Coventry is gonna come out and take care of this tree that had fallen here, but there's definitely some stuff that if it got cleared out a little bit, your view of the ranch and the openness would be really improved. You do have a nice little easement separating yourself from the ranch and you can see the uh, fence that they have there for the ranch but man there's a lot of thorn stuff that if that was just not there uh coventry's not going to do it because it's not their property but you do have uh the upgraded shingle sorry we got the sound of freedom up above us like i mentioned in my intro we do have randolph air force base close by 
but they also do not fly at night. It's just a training base, so they're not going to be bothering you all night long. And they're just T-38s or the T-6 Texans, so not super loud. <coughs> all right, let's continue our downstairs portion of the tour. Coming here, we're going to have... Let's see, this is going to be your laundry room space because you're coming right in from the garage. Here's what your garage is looking like at this state. It does look like we're going to have two different water, two water heaters. There's the platform. It's already plumbed for the water softener. So it's always a good thing to do in advance before the sheetrock and stuff goes up. And this is the master bedroom. Once again, with a nice bay windows. Some tall ceilings in here. Looks like they're gonna do a tray ceiling. They've got it kind of uh, blocked for that. See, they've got some of your electrical. They've got some sealant stuff already sprayed in here. So this house stays very tight and not have to worry about air getting out and there's little holes here they will be sealing all that stuff up on the outside so you're going to have a very energy efficient house this is the master bath we're going to have the mud inset shower we're going to see they it's part of the foundation and it looks like there's going to be a shower heads right there in the controls your water closet and this is going to be a really good size master bedroom closet All right, let's head on and check out the upstairs space. These are gonna have eight foot doors in them. And it's gonna be a really super tall entranceway coming in. All right, let's head on upstairs. We have the little catwalk section. All right, this looks, see if I got a closet. Yeah, this is gonna be one of the upstairs bedrooms. They're gonna have a little door that you could lock, but it gives you access to this space. I don't know how much usable that space is gonna be. But the view from the window of what the lots look like now because a couple years from now, those will all be filled in. But still some pretty tall ceilings in here. Good size closet space, or kind of average. The shared bathroom. You're gonna have a tub shower combo. And there's where the sinks go. Looks like it's gonna be dual vanity sinks. Well, I don't know what this is. Maybe they're gonna be cutting that still. A little view from above. Ooh, and this is gonna be a big room with that little hip bench setup. You can still see the closet. Kind of what's gonna be above the sink. Hey, we got a little birdie in here. Hey, birdie. So this is gonna be the view out the back windows. Uh, he said if just some of that was cleared out, you're gonna have a wonderful view of that little ranch back there. But Coventry's not gonna do it, but eh, if they happen to disappear, I don't think the rancher is gonna be too upset because it's on the easement. It's not his property either. All right, and we have this big space. This is gonna be your game room loft area. Looks like gonna be pretty tall ceilings in here with another door. This one's gonna be a little more easy access space to uh, extra storage or 
to the AC stuff. Looks like they're doing a good job keeping everything up. Here's a view from here for now because it will never look like this again. All right, this is nice to see them doing this because if you're using this as a movie room, uh, they've got the pass-through set up to where you can just stick your cord through. And this little tube will be behind the wall. It's where you can put your receiving receiver stuff set up here. I see we already got the, a co uh, looks like a coaxial cable, ethernet, all that's gonna be already pre-done. So it's real nice to have those pass-through wires so they don't get uh, shown. All right, looks like it's coming along. All right, let's head on back downstairs. All right, that's gonna wrap up tour. This house being built by Coventry for one of my clients. I like doing these new construction follow-up tours just because they're never gonna get to see this house like this again. And my clients are out of state, so it really helps give them peace of mind of what's going on. And if you're watching this video on YouTube and you're looking for a realtor that will do videos like this because you're out of state and you're not there to walk the house, feel free to give me a call. My phone number will be on the final screen and I'll be happy to help. Anyways, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and keep sharing these videos with your friends and family. All right, take care now. Bye.